last season on Fen's Friends. This article that I'm writing, part of it will be about your show's declining ratings. Why do you think the ratings for your talk show are suffering? I have gotten offers to do other things. I got a call from Washington. They offered me a very important job. Hi, you're Dean, right? That's right. Hi, Dean. I'm Beth. Oh, hi. It's nice to meet you, Beth. Maybe we can party next weekend, though. I can't next weekend. I'm driving up to Crosby. Oh, to see Beth? Kind of. I'm actually going up there to help her move. Are you two moving in together? Finn, thanks for coming in to see us today. We felt it was important to have this meeting to discuss the future of your show. Uh, okay. Is this it? Is this the meeting where I find out that I'm cancelled? My show is over. So it's for real? Your talk show's really cancelled? I'm really gonna miss you guys. What? What are you talking about? I'm taking that job in Washington. Hey guys! I'm so glad you could make it to DC. What's it been now, four months since I saw you two? Six months. Wow, six months. Has it been that long? Time flies. It feels like I just moved here. I guess it's because I've been so busy. Busy doing what? What exactly does the Secretary of Entertainment do? Why don't you guys sit down? I'll tell you all about what I do. As the nation's first Secretary of Entertainment, it's my job to keep an eye on the quality of things like TV shows, music, movies, Broadway plays, anything in the field of entertainment. You told us that part on the phone, but, but what does that mean? The government came up with a plan to stop wasting money on movies and TV shows that nobody will watch. To stop wasting money to produce plays that nobody will bother to go see. And the money that doesn't get spent on terrible art goes towards paying off the national debt. That makes it sound like you're the art police. We don't call it that. But yeah, that's basically what it is. I don't think I like the sound of that. It sounds worse than it is. And if you guys knew about some of the TV shows I've kept off the air, you'd be thanking me. Who's hungry? You guys have to try this great dish they have here. It's like the Skip Scramble, but everything in it is like a dessert food. All really sweet. It's a big bowl full of things like cupcakes, candy bars, chocolate chips, Twinkies, cookies, M&Ms. It's called the Wilford Brimley, because it pretty much instantly gives you diabetes. <laughs> that sounds... Uh, no thanks. Okay, order whatever you want, it's all free. Free? The food here is free? It's not really free, but we don't have to pay for it. The government's picking up the check. The taxpayers are paying for our meal. But we're taxpayers. Oh, that's right. I, I forgot that you two are still just regular people who have to pay taxes. What do you mean? You don't pay taxes? No, it's part of the deal I made with the government when I became the Secretary of Entertainment. It was actually Roosevelt's idea. It's the best thing that guy ever did. How is Roosevelt? When's the last time you spoke to him? After I got the job here, I didn't need him anymore. I haven't talked to him in months. Any idea what he's up to? He's in jail. Ah, I bet I can guess why. He robbed a convenience store. Not what I would have guessed. He needed money to get a limo for his girlfriend's senior prom. And there it is. Is there anything you can do for him? Maybe help him get a good lawyer? He's pretty much broke now that you left him behind. He doesn't have any other clients. No, I can't help him. I mean, I could, but that seems like an unnecessary waste of my power. An unnecessary waste of your power? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm a big shot now. That life is behind me now. The talk show, the old diner, the people. That's all in the past. Does that include us? No, of course not. You guys are still my friends. My best friends. Well, you guys and Academy Award winner Fisher Stevens. Fisher Stevens? Academy Award winner Fisher Stevens. I met him at a party and we really hit it off. Fisher Stevens won an Oscar? For what? I don't know. Short Circuit? No, maybe Short Circuit too. I don't think so. Hackers? This is gonna drive me crazy until I figure it out. Oh, I have to tell you this story. It's so funny. The other night, I took Academy Award winner Fisher Stevens with me to the White House for a private screening of Paranormal Activity 9 with the Obamas. Paranormal Activity 9? But there's only three of them. Uh, only three of them have been released so far. There's a lot more where that came from. We're planning to release a new one every year because they keep making tons of money. I get to watch a rough cut of the movie way ahead of time for quality control purposes. That's what we were doing the other night. 
watching a movie with the Obamas. Yeah, awesome, right? So anyway, there we were, me, Academy Award winner Fisher Stevens, and the Obama family watching Paranormal Activity 9 at the White House. It was very scary. And the funny thing is, I was the one yelling at the screen during all the scary parts. I mean, you'd think it would be the Obamas, but... Why would it be the Obamas? Well, you know, because of... their... you know. No, I don't know. I mean... I think I know what you're getting at, but it seems like you're making a joke about a racial stereotype. That doesn't sound like the Fen I know. Do you want to know what we've been up to lately? Yeah, sure. I'm still working at the hotel. I'm the assistant manager now. Other than that, there's not much new with me. But Dean, on the other hand, things are going really well. Oh yeah? Are you still with, uh, what's her name? Beth? Yeah, we're still together. We moved in together a month ago. I'm actually thinking about asking her to marry me. Academy Award winner Fisher Stevens says that marriage is a huge mistake. What happened to you? What are you talking about? You're so... different. Even when you were on TV, you still acted like a normal person. And now you're acting like a dick. Well, I'm not acting like a normal person because now I'm better than normal people. Come on, Robbie. Let's get out of here. But Dean, I... Let's go check out some of the sites so this trip isn't a total loss. Bye, Fen. Whatever. Excuse me, sir. I have some more scripts for you to read. What are they? Three of them are movies and two of them are TV pilots. Okay. Just put them on that table over there. I'll look at them later. Are you okay, Mr. Weathers? Yeah, I'm fine. I was just thinking about something a friend of mine said to me today. Fisher Stevens? Academy Award winner Fisher Stevens. And no, it wasn't him. It was Dean, an old friend of mine. Never mind. Do you have any updates about those things I wanted to get done? I do, sir. As per your request, that Pixar movie about the snake and the lizard who don't get along, they've changed the title to A Reptile Dysfunction. Good. That movie coming out next month, the one about talking babies, we've had the poster airbrushed to make the babies look 13% cuter, just like you wanted. Good. I think that'll sell more tickets. And what about the other thing? Uh, Vin Diesel? Yes. Guantanamo Bay. Along with the people responsible for canceling Freaks and Geeks and Arrested Development. Perfect. That'll be all for now. Thank you, uh... Um... Did you forget my name, sir? No, of course not. I know your name. You've been my assistant for six months now. Of course I know your name. It's... It's, uh... It starts with a J, John, Jacob, Jingleheimer. My name is Stanley. Ah, Stanley. Wow, this job has kind of turned me into a dick, huh? Yes, sir, it has. Stanley, I'd like you to book a flight for me. To where, sir? Home. Yes, sir, Mr. Weathers. And Stanley, I'm not going to be your boss anymore. I got off the plane. What? I got off the plane. I'm doing a bit from the series finale of Friends. Ross and Rachel. Didn't you get the DVDs I sent? I sent you Friends, the complete series on DVD. The super special edition. Oh yeah, I got the DVDs. I just never watched them. It includes a whole extra season that never even aired. Bruce Springsteen personally financed the production of an extra season just for his friends and family to enjoy. He's a huge Courtney Cox fan. I asked him why, but he didn't really answer. He just winked. That's weird. Yeah, I thought so too. Anyway, can I come in? Sure. Dean's here. Oh, then maybe I shouldn't. What's up? Hey, uh, I'm home. I mean, I'm back. I quit my big government job. No more Secretary of Entertainment? I'm sure they'll get somebody else. But I'm not going to be the Secretary of Entertainment anymore. And I'm not going to be a dick anymore. Yeah, well, we'll see. Let, let's not jump the gun. <laughs> uh, what are you guys doing tonight? We're just going to hang out and watch a movie. You want to join us? We're about to watch The Jerk. Yeah, that would be awesome. I'm hitchhiking. How far are you going? St. Louis, how far are you going? To the end of this fence. Okay. 
I'm Navin Johnson. What's your name, sir? Here we are. Okay. The Cove, that documentary about dolphins in Japan. That's what Fisher Stevens won an Oscar for, for producing The Cove. Thanks for the company. Man, that has been driving me crazy for days.